The mysterious and perplexing vanishing of a young brother and sister remains one of the most infamous unsolved cases in Puerto Rico to date. John Colonna Aponte was born on February 19th, 1962 in Puerto Rico to parents John Colonna and Noemi Aponte. And on April 19th, 1963, his sister Janina Maria Colonna Aponte followed. John and Janina were very close and enjoyed spending time together. They even shared the same circle of friends, most likely due to the fact that the siblings were very close in age. The family resided in the Luquillo suburb of Costa Azul, Puerto Rico, and on May 5th, 1974, John, who was 12, and Janina, who was 11, had plans to walk to a nearby beach to meet up with a neighbour and family friend of their parents and his three children. However, rather strangely, John and Janina never arrived at the beach. Their mother arrived shortly afterwards, but the male friend told her that her children had not shown up. A search for the children was conducted shortly after they were reported missing. However, no trace of them was found. Puerto Rican authorities found no clues or evidence to indicate what had happened to the children, and with that and the lack of leads, the case quickly went cold. Eight months after the Colonna Aponte children disappeared, it came to light that a businessman and prior neighbour to the family named Thomas Rodriguez had taken his own life in Miami, Florida and had left a suicide note claiming to have known details about the disappearance of both children. The man had moved away from Puerto Rico a short time after the children vanished. Written in the note, it was alleged that Rodriguez knew of plans to abduct the children in order to collect a 72,000 US dollar ransom, which ultimately did not transpire, as the Colonna Apontes never received such communication from any kidnappers. The precise ransom sum of $72,000 does seem oddly specific, though we do not know the significance of it. Due to the very scarce amount of information available online regarding this case, we do not know anything regarding the financial status of the Colonna Apontes, nor do we know if either John Sr. or Noemi had any known enemies. We do not even know what John Sr.'s occupation was, which could have exposed him or his family to some sort of risk or danger. We know that Thomas Rodriguez was a neighbour of the family, but was he the same man who was meant to meet up with John Jr. and Janina on the day they vanished, or was he perhaps a business associate of John Sr.? We do not know of any direct link between Rodriguez and the Colonna Aponte family, other than the fact they were neighbours, but this is a very broad term which could mean anything. If Rodriguez did indeed know about the abduction of John and Janina, who kidnapped them and why? What happened to them? Did John and Janina come to harm, which was why the abductor or abductors didn't follow through with threatening the family with a ransom and failed to collect it? It has been alleged that Rodriguez was perhaps the middleman for someone else or was an associate of whoever was the mastermind behind the plan, but no other potential suspects have been publicly named in this case. Who did Rodriguez have connections to? And did he have mutual connections to the Colonna Aponte family in some way? In 2002, investigating agents at the FBI visited Noemi Aponte and told her that they had some clues and avenues of investigation that they were looking into, one of which involved a girl from Mayaguez who claimed to be looking for her mother. A dying relative told the woman that her mother was Puerto Rican, and the FBI believed it could have possibly been Janina Colonna Aponte. Noemi fully cooperated with authorities and took various blood tests and gave DNA samples, and even gave permission for her husband's remains to be exhumed and for DNA to be extracted from his remains also. She also gave authorities some milk teeth which belonged to her missing children, which she had kept in a box. Due to the children's heritage, Interpol got involved in the case, and some shocking revelations came to light. This included that, according to their DNA analysis, both John and Janina were not the biological children of John Colonna Sr. 
When these claims were made in 2005, following genetic data analysis by Interpol, the children's mother, Noemi, was left heartbroken by such a scandal. She told the Primera Hora newspaper in 2012, quote, These years of anguish, instead of searching, were reversed against me, and that has hurt me more. It broke my heart because God was already giving me strength to accept things when the other thing, regarding the children's paternity, happened. I cooperated 100% so that later they came to torture me in this way and tell me that their evidence had said that they were not his children. Something was done wrong in those tests because my children are from John Colonna. And if not, and as I told them on that occasion, that they do the DNA tests again and that the Bishop of San Juan be present. If they prove to me that they are not John's children, they are a miracle from God because I did not know another male when I became pregnant. Due to these claims, Noemi felt she was trying to be implicated as a suspect in the disappearance of her two children, with authorities clutching at any straws that they could due to lack of any clues or evidence indicating the fates of John and Janina. Noemi was forced to take polygraph tests and was asked very personal questions regarding her sex life. Noemi told Primera Hora at her heartbreak at these shocking claims. I got married when I was 19. John, my husband, was the love of my life. He was my first love, my first man, and how they come to tell me that the children are not his. They wanted to solve the case at my expense, at my pain. My children are not bastards, and for them to say that has hurt me. It has taken my heart and destroyed it. Whether there is any truth to the claims that John was not the biological father of John Jr. and Janina remains to be seen. Some web sleuths believe that, perhaps due to the treatment he was having for cancer at the time, that this may have interfered with the genetic testing, but this is purely speculation and it's unclear whether this is even scientifically possible. Though if he had blood transfusions, it certainly doesn't seem out of the realms of possibility that the results of the genetic testing may have been affected. The disappearance of their children had a profound effect on Noemi and John Sr., who, according to his wife, struggled following John and Janina's vanishing. He allegedly contemplated taking his own life a number of times, and even suggested his wife join him in doing so, so that they could, quote, go with the kids, but Noemi did not believe their children to be dead. She held on to the hope that John and Janina were alive somewhere and wanted to be there, at their family home, whenever they returned. But as the years passed, that hope that Noemi held on to faded. I thought someone would come and deliver them to me, but that's how all these years have passed. Waiting, waiting, crying and crying. I think they won't come back anymore. They are here in my heart, where they will always be, where they are 24-7. I have them in my mind all the time. I may be singing, dancing, but they are there all the time. This is a wound that does not heal, and from which I cry every day. In order to end the speculation and hurtful claims being made, Noemi sought to legally declare her children as deceased in 2012. But according to Puerto Rican media, this was never granted due to the fact that if they were declared dead, the case would be archived. Sadly, nobody has ever been arrested or charged in this case, and both children remain missing. When the siblings disappeared in 1974, John Colonna Aponte was 12 years old. He is described as being of Caucasian and Hispanic admixture, specifically of Puerto Rican, French and American descent with brown hair and brown eyes, standing at 5 feet tall and weighing approximately 119 pounds. He was known to go by the nickname of Janot. His sister Janina Colonna Aponte was 11 years old at the time the pair vanished. She is also described as being Caucasian and Hispanic with black hair and black eyes, standing at 5 feet 1 inches tall and weighing 117 pounds. She notably had a small birthmark on her right cheek. Both children are multilingual and can speak Spanish, English, French and Italian. Unfortunately, it is unknown what the children were wearing on the day they disappeared and there are no DNA, dental records or fingerprints available for comparison in the case. 
Very little information is online regarding this case, though various age progression images of both children have been digitally rendered over the years in the hopes that if they are out there, someone might recognise them. If alive today, John would be 61 years old and Janina would be 60 years old, respectively. The children's father, John Colonna Sr., died in 1982 from a stroke as a result of terminal cancer. In early April of 2023, their mother, Noemi Aponte, passed away in the family home, a place she refused to leave in case her children ever returned. She died from breast cancer at the age of 84, without ever knowing what fate befell her beloved Janina and Jano. As of 2023, this case remains unsolved.